feeling today? Hey, Miss Benzo. You don't have to work today, Miss Benzo? I wanted to give me something to drink first of all before I started running my mouth. How y'all feeling? Hello, today I want to talk about, about how to lose weight. How to lose weight. How to lose weight. Man, I love me some book in November. Lord have mercy. How to lose weight. Anybody? Anybody struggling with weight loss? Anybody struggling with health issues because of the weight loss? How to lose weight. Whew. This week I have Tuesday through Friday off. Oh, okay. Like to work on okay. On Saturday. Look, look, I gotta look at the calendar. Okay. Okay, I gotta look at the calendar because you know <coughs> I find it the funniest thing because I don't work no more. I don't need to be paying attention to what day of the week it be or nothing. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to talk about Rachelle. Hi Rachelle, if that's your name. I wanted to talk about how to lose weight today. Hey Arabina, thank you for being here. I'm live on both of my pages on God is just be right here and on God is just be healthy. And I want to share some things with some people that there is an instant cheat code to losing weight. That when you are maybe obese or maybe you have health issues or maybe um, uh, you're maybe bedridden, but you you know you at a higher weight. There are actually foods that you can eat based upon your blood type. Once you find out your blood type, you can have this diet that's catered to your blood type and help you drop weight off of your body instantly instantly so thank you for that miss being so so first of all you need to know your blood type though it's so important that you get to know your blood type it's so important because when you eat the food that you eat interacts or creates a chemical reaction with your blood type and it allows that food to work for you or against you. So if you're suffering with weight loss, it don't have to be, you know, that that a suffered issue. It could be where you could go to certain foods, certain spices, certain drinks, and it will create a balance within your gut. Your your beneficial bacteria in your gut. Your digestive enzymes will be working again in your gut to allow your body to break up this food that you were digesting, to be eliminated, to snatch your skin back, to tighten up your stomach all over again. This is what it means when this is, I'm speaking of when they say, you know, you have to take these acidophilus pills and things. You have to have beneficial bacteria in your gut. This is what I'm speaking of. I'm speaking of foods that normally that do this for you automatically. That you don't have to go, hey, Kimmy, thank you for being here. You don't have to go, good afternoon, you're glowing, refreshed. I actually just wake, woke up. <laughs> I just woke up, see. I had a good night's sleep. I, I went to bed about three or four this morning, uh, packaging orders and, and restocking my website. So they, thank you for that. I slept good, though. So eating these type of foods automatically are going to increase your microbiome diversity. It's going to automatically um, discourage the imbalances within your gut. It's going to automatically enhance your carbohydrate metabolism. That means instant weight loss. Instant weight loss. Anybody need to lose weight? Anybody know somebody struggling to lose weight? I got the cheat code. And guess what? That means good health. That means peaceful nights of sleeping. That means you ain't hungry all the time. Those cravings and stuff, you don't get them no more. Once you clean up the gut, it is so important you clean up the gut. You clean up the gut, you change your whole life. Mentally, physically, emotionally, because it all lies in the gut. Anybody with hormonal issues, thank you, thank you. Whoever that was that just chose life today thank you anybody with hormonal issues anybody with autoimmune diseases weight loss high blood pressure diabetes you name it it all started from the gut 
clean up your gut and you, you, you're there. You're on a journey there. You're going to get your energy back. You're going to get your quality of life back. You're going to get your health back. You're going to lose the weight. <laughs> you're going to save some money. Hey, hey, Michelle. Hey, hey, 66. Hey, hey. Hey, great. <laughs> down. Oh, 20 down, 50 to go. So you do, you already eating for your blood type? Great. How you doing? What's your what's your plan? What's your plan? I'm so proud of you. What's your plan? Hey G. Hey G. Hey G. Staten. Hello Mika. Thank you for being here. So today I wanted to tell you all about this because I have available on my website an uh, instant cheat code sheet for those who are ready to lose weight. The 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 condiments. I have it all outlined for you, readily available on my website if you're interested in losing weight, the healthy weight, without kidding yourself at the gym, be prematurely going to the gym, because see the thing about, it ain't no diet, it's a lifestyle, this is this is what you've been looking for all your life, you've been looking for something, some, some foods to go to, to put your fire out, make you lose the weight, heal your gut, and you live happily ever after, this ain't some, no pill that you gotta go constantly, Go get refilled at the doctor's office that might cause your kidneys to go out. This ain't no weight wrap or waist trainer wrap thing that you got to put around you and suction all of your air out. And you got to sit a certain way and you can't breathe all day long. And you and you tired of it choking you all day long. This is foods that when you go to the grocery store, you buy them too. You eat more of them and they eat the food working for you. My blood type is already negative my weight is 159 down oh okay i want to get down to 143 well on my website is the um instant cheat code list let me put these this information on the um screen right quick so y'all can see it let me go to my effects right there here and put the ins the um the um the information on the screen let's see green screen let's see we're gonna go here let me see if I, I got this up in here. Let's see. Let's see. Where is it? Here it is, right here. Okay. So that's this this is the information you need to know. First of all, you need to know what blood type you are. Whether you are O, A, B, A, B, and so forth, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to put it on. I'm on two lives and I'm just running my mouth on this one here. Thank y'all for being here. Let me put this on the screen over here right quick. Let's see. Um effects, the green screen. Let's see this right here, and this is what I'm talking about right here. Let's see, is this? There we go. Okay, so now we have it on both of the screens. At the bottom, that's your first step. For those of you who do not know your blood type, the first step is at the bottom. The Elden at Home Kit. The Elden at Home Kit is you pricking your finger, finding out your blood type at home, unless you want to go to the doctor. The kit is inexpensively um, available on wet, on um, Amazon. You do it at your house. You go to the doctor, you'll be paying maybe about five times more than what this year kit um, costs. So that's an easy way. You find out your blood type, whether you're all the universal blood type, the A, which is a sensitive digestive system and has a high amount of mucus production and really need to be eaten for the a blood type because they're normally a vegetarian. The B, like me, the B is the balanced blood type. Whether you're negative or positive, it doesn't matter on this particular um, um, weight loss journey, whether you're B negative or B positive or A negative, A positive, positive and negative doesn't matter. That that has to do with something totally different. But you eat from your blood type, whether you O, A, B, or A, B. And when you eat for your blood type, on based upon your blood type, your food on this list going to work for you instead of against you. It's going to fill you up with minerals. It's going to fill you up with, with digestive enzymes. It's going to get rid of those pathogens in your gut, parasites, or whatever you have that's overweight in your gut. Because parasites, when they get in from our food, and we all can get it whether we are vegan or we eating bloody meat, anybody can get parasites. But the thing about it is when they get into the nooks and the crevices of your digestive system and begin to strip you of your minerals and your life force and to make your digestive system out of balance, that's when you have problems. And that's when it will begin to show up in your weight. 
It'll show up in your mineral deficiencies. You, you, you'll be like D3 deficient, magnesium deficient. Yeah, because the parasite inside of you is knowing you have all of your minerals. And your beneficial bacteria is losing the fight, right? And so you don't want to lose that fight because you keep losing that fight each day within your gut by not having the proper amount of hydrochloric acids or not eating and having the proper amount of digestive enzymes in your gut. Well, you lose in that fight and it's going to show up. It's going to show up because your lymphatic system going to get clogged up because this, these parasites, they reproduce, they lay eggs and larvae, they go through life cycles inside of you. And so if you don't have the digestive enzymes and the proper uh, beneficial bacteria in your gut to withstand these critters, they take over. This is what all sickness and disease leads from. It stems from the gut. You wearing glasses, gut issue. You have gout, gut issue. High blood pressure, gut issue. Diabetes, gut issue. Autoimmune, lupus, whatever you have, sickness and disease. You got um, dandruff, gut issue. You got thrash on your tongue. It's a mirror. Your tongue is a mirror to your gut. Gut issue. Whatever the issue is, it leads to the gut. So why not clean up the gut? So for those that are trying to lose weight. These foods are cleaning up your gut. <laughs> you getting it? It's really, it's, it's only, I know I have gut issues, Mika says. So if you know you have gut issues, I have three products up here. But I would say these are digital products. This is instantly emailed to you. So put in the proper email address and you'll, uh, you'll automatically get it. But if you know you have gut issues, it would be the seven day meal plan. The seven day meal plan and you pay attention to those juices in that meal plan because according to your blood type, there are juices that I list on the meal plan that are going to give you that little burst of digestive enzymes that you need to destroy that food that's probably sitting there. This is why people belch three or four days later after they eat a hot sauce sandwich and they could still smell the stench of the hot sauce sandwich. Gut issues. That means that food is not being broken down. If you are blood type A and you know you're blood type A and you eat a whole bunch of meat, gut issues. Because you actually supposed to be more of a vegetarian type um, eater. And so in the seven day meal plan, I give you everything you need to know about what you need to be eating according to your blood type. Not according to, oh, okay, this deal works for other people. You need to get, we collectively need to get selective or um, specific with eating because every day and we can't eat every day you know this to be true when you see maybe an old blood type who likes eating meat all the time and if you're a you know it to be true that no i can't do that you could just look at people and know oh I, I, my, my body don't work like that so within this knowing since you know just by seeing what do you think your blood know <laughs> your blood the footprint of your DNA would has been alive for eons, which is magno, magical, which has memory. <laughs> what do you think your body feels when you're eating those things? If you, on a just a conscious thinking level, know. Your body is like, oh my gosh, here we go again. We're about to be on fire again. She's, he, she or he is still not eating for the blood type again. And then they wonder why they're not losing weight. They on fire. You get it? You get it? So it's really, really important. So in the seven day meal plan, you if you it comes equipped with a whole this is um an example of the meal plan if you could vaguely see it through this um green screen. I have it in my hand, so it's like a print out from Sunday through Saturday, and on here it lists what are some ideas for your blood type. For your blood type. Beneficial meals for your blood type, breakfast ideas, fruit ideas, nuts ideas, lunch ideas. And when I say ideas, I mean what meat, what oil, what shake season, what chopped up seasoning, you know, what, what, what vegetable, what fruit. How to kind of like make it. It's kind of, if you ask me, I, I went a little extra. It's kind of like a little mini kick cookbook. I, I kind of like wanted to write a cookbook after I wrote my first book. So I kind of got a little extra. That's why it's on two pages. I couldn't fit the Sunday through the Saturday on one page. So I put it on two pages. So the first page have the um, Sunday through the Wednesday. The second page is the Thursday through the Saturday. So like I say, breakfast, fruits, nuts, lunch, your oils that you should be 
you know, if you're using an oil to make lunch, I put that choice oil that's highly beneficial for you on your blood type. I put herbal teas on here because every blood type has a herb or herbals that they could use. And let me tell you, herbs, just because they're herbs, they're specific to your blood type. So, for example, burdock root, yellow dock root, certain blood types cannot consume that root. I don't, I know, I know we come in the, in the journey where we have um, conscious leaders before our time that say, oh, this herb is good and this herb is good. It is not good for everybody. And so for that being said, I'm talking about the O's right there because the O's can't handle those two herbs that I just mentioned. So here we go. Um, the herbal teas is on here. Your meal, your dinner, whether you could have certain types of fish, certain types of meat. You can eat meat, but you need to eat meat according to your blood type, except for A's. A's don't have no highly beneficial meats for their blood type. But blood type A does have neutral meats like chicken and turkey. It's actually neutral to them. But chicken is actually should be avoided by really all the rest of the blood types. The, well, I'm talking about, um, yeah, all the other blood types. Yeah, you're right. So pork is a no-no for all of the blood types since we're on, um, since we're on meat. Pork is a no-no. <sighs> what else? So we, when we say pork, I mean like bacon and ham. That's all inclusive. That's a no-no. Okay. When we think about that type of animal, we're looking at an animal that's not real. So that's why I want to throw that in there real quick. We're looking at an animal that ain't even real. That's been genetically modified. The chicken has actually too. But being that the A has such a sensitive digestive system. And it's kind of like the, a blood type that's kind of like has been tainted. Kind of like a, um, the total opposite of O. It actually can consume some chicken, but it would thrive off of softer things like maybe like um, tofu, you know, soybean type meals, ve vegetarian type meals, fruitarian type meals, right? Based upon their blood type. So in, in I know this is going to be a cultural shock because a lot of people in the black community, you know, they come, we come up on our chicken. We come up on, you know, like fried chicken and, and you know, the, the uh, chitlins and, and red beans and rice. They have beans, though. They have different alternatives, though, based upon your blood type that you can consume. And so it's not like the end of the world here. It's just like kind of like making a shift in, 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 in your diet. And kind of like if you think about it, it's really falling in love with you on another level. It's falling in love with you on another level that you never explored yet. Because you're really God in the physical reality and trying to experience all. And so you didn't experience that, that chaotic diet. You already experienced what it feels like to, to gain weight. <laughs> to gain weight. Yeah, I was just verifying for the O's. Chicken is neutral, but it's not highly beneficial for them either. Because I know the O's could eat everything pretty much because they have the highest amount of hydrochloric acid. But even for them... Chicken is something neutral, so it's neutral for the O's and it's neutral for the um, the um, A's. But for the B's and the AB's, this that's a that's a meat that should be avoided uh, avoided completely, because when we consume that, we get inflamed from it. So just knowing things like that about your blood type, when you go to the grocery store, now you know. Oh, okay, the, the this chicken gonna inflame me, but I still have turkey. You know, this vegetable here is this burdock here doesn't work for my blood top right here. But maybe I still have bladderac or I still have sarsaparilla, you know. And so you bobbing and weaving from the inflammation because the inflammation, you keep on inflaming yourself. You on fire. <laughs> you stay in fire. You are decreasing your frequency. You are getting coming ascetic. And what happens when you get ascetic? Well, cancer is ascetic. Cancer is about a tree in the ascetic range. If we're going to put a number to it, you get too ascetic and then you down to a zero flat line. Now, you no longer in the physical reality all because you wasn't eating for your blood type. Yeah. Do you want us to send you our email? No, you go to the website address. Faye, you go to the website address, sort of the earth That's the website at the top of the screen. 
and you find the meal plan that works for you, whether you're doing a seven-day meal plan or you, you just want to know the cheat code list of the foods that you can eat and the drinks that you could have, everything that you could have for your blood type to lose the weight. Or if you're just so sick and you can't get to the store, you you, you can't get to the store, you, you, you're just sick in the bed right now, you just need to know your at-home herbal potion which is herbs and oils that you could put together to put the fire out, just to put the fire out for now. So whatever state of being you in, you select that based upon your blood type. And you go to the website and pick according to your blood type. Choose what works for you where you are. You know how you're feeling right now. And you know what's best for your body right now. Right? And so for those that purchase the seven-day meal plan, which comes with the foods to avoid, the highly beneficial foods, example of a meal plan, list that you could, you know, of the foods that are highly beneficial that if you don't like the meal plan on here, you could create your own meal plan. But that one right there, the seven day, that one comes with the herbal potion already. So you have, you already have the seven day meal plan plus the at home herbal potion. It's going to be on page three if you get the meal plan. So that's the most value right there. But outside of that, now you're empowered. Now when you go to the grocery store, you can buy those fruit there. You can buy those vegetables there. And not only that, once you save yourself, you find out what the other people in your family blood type is. And now you can make meals conducive of everybody being healthy in the family. Now you can you could even, if you're purchasing the seven-day meal plan, decide, you know what, I'm going to purchase all of them for all blood types. Because somebody in the family might not have your specific blood type, could because blood types vary. That don't just because you gave birth to you know a baby don't mean that they're gonna carry on your blood type, you know. So it varies within the household. So you need to find out if you were oh for example and you love the bloody meat because you have the acids in your gut. You can't just cook bloody meat and think everybody in the house gonna enjoy the bloody meat. It don't work like that there. It does not work like that because you might have given birth to an A who has a sensitive digestive system. And so now your A in your family is constantly getting sick because they don't eat like you, you eat. They're not feeling and experiencing the, things, thing, the same thing that you're feeling and experiencing because their blood type is different and somebody in that family is suffering. And then we turn around and we say, oh, it's genetics. Oh, it just run in the family. All the children or all the, you know, everybody besides one person in the family got this hip inflammation, got this high blood pressure. But, but if you pay attention, if you sit back, maybe that one person that don't have it is a different blood type. Because clearly everybody in the family is eating the same thing. And so blood types react like that. This is chemical reactions that happen called lectins that happen in your, blood, in your body immediately when you eat anything when you drink anything when you put anything on your body your blood has memory and it's oh let's get inflamed that's not familiar that's not working for us so it's working against us this is why autoimmune disease exists right here because your blood but the communication the connection between the blood and the food this is why it exists what types Rodman, what types of meal does blood B positive need? The ones listed on the seven meal day meal plan for the bees. I can tell you if we if I stay here long enough, I can go through some of the things that you should avoid to avoid further inflammation. But let me get through these comments right quick. But the meal plan, if you want to know what it is, go to the meal plan. Educate yourself. Get to know yourself. You go to the website, Salt of the Earth. The information is right up here. Saltoftheearthpub.org. Seven-day meal plan. And you'll have it on your phone instantly. You have everything. You have what what are highly beneficial fruits. Let me let me let me tell you. It's in front of my it's in front of me right now. It lists the meats for the bees. For all blood types. Every blood type gets to know the meat. The seafood, the dairy, the oil, oils and fats, the nuts and seeds, the condiments, the sweetness, the additives, the beans and legumes, the grains and cereals, the beverages, the teas, the coffees, the vegetables, and the fruit for your blood type on the seven-day meal plan based upon your blood type, whether you be A, A, B, or O. 
It really doesn't matter. You just click on, you choose which one you are. I don't know my blood type. Yeah, my doctor don't try to tell me. No, they don't. Because when you begin to pay attention to your blood type, if you if the doctors tell you this type of stuff, just like the dentist ain't going to tell you about, oh, fully going to save you from a cavity. It's not in their best interest for them to tell you that. Because if we get together and we realize, wait a minute, you are old too? Damn, I'm an old. Man, we love to work out. We love being physically fit. You know, we have all of this um, uh, physical strength. You know, we, we like this, 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 this outdoor type stuff, this strenuous type exercise. Dang, and you can't tolerate weed either, me either. But I love eating meat. I can't see giving up on meat. What those A's talking about? If everybody start getting together with that and eating for their blood type, the medical industry will be destroyed. But it's important for you to know this here now because of where the world is going. You know, with the uncertainties, with the money, with, with how the sun is getting hotter and hotter each year. And how, how we should be able to tolerate it when we're healthy in, 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 in years to come. Um, this sun is going to be really, really hot, almost unbearable for some. Only the ones that are real t in, in months to come, you know, it's going to be hard getting certain types of foods. So what are you going to do when you're still hooked on high fructose corn syrup? You know, if you ain't eating for your blood type, what, what you gonna do? Where you, where you gonna get your ice cream from? It's time to get them critters that have you wanting food out of your system. It's time to get off of the drugs. And when I say the drugs, I'm talking about high fructose corn syrup that's in all of your food. It's a chemical that makes you think that you're hungry when you're really, really full. So this is why you can't eat one Lay's potato chip. Why you gotta eat a whole bag of the Oreos or the ice cream? Because you're on the drug. That's what they do with the food. They put chemicals in there to hijack your brain so you can keep wanting it and keep having a gluttonous spirit, keep getting obese, keep going back and forth to the doctor wondering why when you set up in the system. <laughs> when your brain has been hijacked. So if you want to get off of that, if you're tired of living in that endless cycle, it's time to find out what your blood type is, get to know yourself, and start to eat for your blood type and get rid of sickness and disease once and for all. If you're tired of every little thing, counting and counting calories, I don't see how people in the physical reality could do it. Counting calories and, 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 and staying in the gym when you, when you know you're on fire and you're inflamed and walking around with a waist trainer thingy on your chest, on your stomach or whatever, can't breathe. I don't see how people do it, but you don't have to suffer like that. You find your blood type out and you eat the foods that's for your blood type. And you get rid of that. You get rid of that information. You get rid of that fat. And you and you shrink your stomach back to its natural size. And then uh, now you don't have the critters in there. Now you have healthy, beneficial bacteria. And now you have digestive di um, di enzymes. Now you're going to the bathroom. Now you're sleeping better. Now you don't have your anxiety. You don't have to. You don't have to pop a pill that's destroying your kidneys anyway. You don't have to pop that pill for the antidepressant. Or the anxiety medication that you're on. Simply because you're walking around here on fire. And why you're on fire? Because you ain't eating for your blood type. It's just an endless rat race. Yeah, it's endless, really. Yeah, Sabina? Sabina. <laughs> That's pretty. Thank goodness. I love white fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dang, I just ate hotly. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Well, just as long as you have the um, the digestive enzymes to break that thing up. Just as long as you have that beneficial bacteria. But if you know that you don't go to the bathroom, like some of us, we, you know, in my past, I'm guilty of this. Not go, being regular. There are some people in the physical reality that only go to the bathroom maybe two to three times a week. And that was me back in the day. Anybody, anybody else? Anybody else? I mean, I know we don't talk about this. But could you could you put an emoji or something on the screen? Do you go to the restroom every day? Put an emoji on the screen if you go every day. If you go every day, let's see if you let's see all the people that go every day. And let's see, let's do a comparison between the ones that go every day and the ones that don't. Because a lot of people in the physical reality are full of crap. Let's see how many people go in every day. Every day. I'm talking about every time you eat. All meals are 3D printed and everything is bad at this point. Yeah, but you could you you could know you could go to the ones that are for you. I love everything you're saying. Yeah, 
Yeah, King. Yeah, King. Exactly. I won't see how many of these people. I looked this up. I know that chicken, corn, beans, uh, and wheat for my blood type. Oh, you looked it up? Good for you. Empower yourself. Go ahead on, Nene. Exactly. I won't see. Wait, let me get down. Thank you for the, for the information. Me and my wife. Oh, all O's. Oh, they got some gods up in that house. And then your name, King. Go ahead on, King. That's that Anunnaki blood type, boy. Boy. The gods up in there. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Wait, I'm trying to get down to the bottom. Let's see. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm way far. Okay, I'm on the 40s now. Oh, is that the 80-something comments that I have missed? Oh, that's people coming in. Let's see. Let's see. Does blood type have something to do with fighting? Uh, not really. Oh, positive with my, with a gut help. Oh, okay. Okay. I've been eating for my blood type since January. Okay. How does that feel? Enzymes do you suggest? I need? Is that what you're saying? You really put in the chat? I currently go every day. Okay. Miss Being Soul going every day. Miss Being Soul just started this year journey too though. I su I'm so proud of you. that Okay, that somebody, 66 does two times a day. Okay, I go three. Okay, yes. Okay, there we go. I go commando every day. That's funny. Enzymes, did you suggest one every day? The foods up in the um, seven-day meal plan is all of the enzymes, the plant-based ones, the, the fruit ones that you need. I'm mad. I can't use burdock anymore. Yeah, because you must be an old and not forever young. Yeah, I have two daughters, and we just had our last child. And it's my junior boy. Oh, okay. Oh, positive. Okay, so they only had a couple of people up in there. That was about four, if I'm counting correctly. It was about four. Let's see. I have lupus. That's an autoimmune disease right there. You definitely need to be eating for your blood type over there on this other page. Um, that's the seven-day meal plan. You need to know all of the foods because that's autoimmune. That's letting you know you auto, your immune system is fighting against uh, parasites in the gut. Critters in the gut. And the thing about parasites, they're smart little critters. Then they'll build these lipid coated virus behind themselves, like to shield themselves in. This is why when you get like a virus or whatever, the doctor be like, oh, we just got to let it run its course. Like, right? Because ain't nothing a doctor has that can penetrate kind of like to these little smart critters because they reproduce. If doctors would tell people that, they, that we have pathogens and parasites in our gut instead of just giving stuff for the symptoms, the people would begin to pay attention to their gut health and the and having and creating digestive enzymes more by the foods that they eat and be more particular. But doctors ain't about to tell people that. That's 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 parasites behind there. That's not eating for the blood type behind there. And once you change your diet, all of that will begin to be just expelled out of your body. But you gotta wanna change. You got to want to change those habits because a lot of people that have the lupus and things like that, I'm not saying you, but a lot of people that I have met in this healing journey that have cancer and have lupus and, and, and they have thyroid issues, they, they always slide in, yeah, yeah, but I like my, I like my beard though. Or they'll slide in, oh, but yeah, I like, you know, I like my bread though. I know it ain't good for me. Or they, you know, they slide in something. They be sliding in them those slickers, and that be the leading cause of their sickness and disease. Like they could be an old, and they they like their bread, but the bread is destroying them, you know, because they can't have the wheat. You know, they could be a blood type that they just can't tolerate sodas or something, and they down in soft drinks. They're like I gotta have something good. I can't drink water. You know, they'll always have this I can't thing, or they'll be the ones like from New Orleans down south. They'll be the ones that's like. Well, I love my crawfish, and I ain't leaving my chitlins and my red beans alone. That's just it. You know, like, why well, I got to change? They, they, they kind of be, it be a mind thing is what I'm saying. But once you get over the hurdle of the mind and begin to fall in love with the other foods that work better for you, and you develop this good quality of life, and you get your strength back, and then you get your minerals back, and you see, oh my God, and when you see that you're expelling them parasites and things in your bow in the bathroom when you see what comes out of you oh yeah you you'll be like nah i ain't, I ain't messing with that no more <laughs> i'm gonna be on a straight and narrow now okay so i asked ignorance is very important in the land yeah it's sad to say it's sad to say blue but it, it is and they go back is this is the, the, the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over again for some people but they own that little they own that little wheel 
They don't want that little hamster wheel and they just keep going and going and never deciding, well, if I get off, maybe I won't be as dizzy. If I get off, you know, I could maybe enjoy, enjoy this other area because there's life outside of just rolling on the hamster wheel. But many, many just roll on it. But it's a mindset that you got to change. The website is up here, sort of the earth pub, that org. It's a seven day meal plan created specifically by blood type. So I ask, I ask all of the people that go to the restroom and I got about four or five. I won't, I won't, you don't need to type in nothing but an emoji, but a, just a, a one letter, just whatever you could put your finger on. Are there any people in here that only go to the restroom three or less times a week? Three or less times a week? Anybody? Anybody? If you care to share, anybody. Because I, I, I know I'll be putting something on here because that's how I used to be. Anybody? Three or less? Three or less? Who would, any people who wish they would would be more regular than what they were. Any people that feel like, you know, I, I feel like I need to be letting more out. Any people that have back issues. Anybody? I'm old. Yes, just me. Yes, I'm old. Was diagnosed with lupus. Felt great eating seafood. But I'm now vegan after cancer. See? See, one thing leads to another. You definitely need to be eating for your blood type. Immediately eating for your blood type immediately yes see okay okay i ain't gonna call the names out i'm, I'm gonna just look at them i see a yes i see a y i see a me i see a hand i see another yes me yes so so that just that just that many people right there outweighed the other people because it was about four this is here this here about five and some people some people might be too shy to even talk about it I have the book. Yeah, good. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Yes, I'm so happy for you. Beautiful. Hey, Stephen. Yeah. And so, so that alone lets you know if you eat three times a day, seven days a week, that's what, seven, 21? That's 21 meals. 21 meals. We add that up and we only go in three or less times a week. Let us know something ain't right with that. That's not normal. And nobody used to talk about this here, especially for women. Women don't talk about this here because we, you know, put our makeup on and we sit and, you know, all dainty, want to be all feminine and cross the legs and stuff full of crap. So for those of you who are like that, when you get this seven day meal plan available on my website, I want you to pay attention to the highly beneficial drinks that's on there. The highly beneficial drinks that's on there, I included them at the top. I included them at the top underneath fruit, uh, fruit and snack, your breakfast stuff. Those drinks right there, you buy those drinks. You put those drinks in your refrigerator. You drink those drinks daily because those are your drinks to help you with your digestive enzymes. Those are your drinks that's going to take care of your integrity of your gut. Meaning, it's going to increase the microbiome diversity in your gut, right? The beneficial, you know, the good versus the bad bacteria. Yeah, finally, the good one's going to be winning in your gut. So, it's going to discourage that imbalance that's in there. And then, it's going to increase the metabolism. Yeah, you're going to get energy from this here. And so energy, energy allows you to move. Movement helps you move your bowel too. Because some, some ladies, we so busy with this feminine energy that we, oh my gosh, I'm just so feminine, I can't do. Thank you for whoever decided to put themselves, that noise is somebody purchasing one of the meal plan. So, so for those of you who sit there and be dainty, oh my gosh, I'm just feminine and I'm just gorgeous. Oh my God, I broke a nail. And yeah, a lot of y'all, you're full of crap. You're sitting over there, over there dainty, but you're stinking. You're stinking because you ain't moving around. You can't sweat. I come from corporate America, and I know, I know people in corporate America that just don't. I had a girlfriend in corporate America when I was in New Orleans, Louisiana. This girl would not sweat. She wouldn't sweat for nothing. Oh, child, I'm not sweating. Boo was big and would constantly say, help me. Lou 
lose weight. And at that time, I, I, I wasn't even thinking to share with her eating for a meal plan because every diet, she every week she was on a new diet and was gaining weight, but refused to sweat. Oh, child, no, I'm not going outside. Is you crazy? But those be the ones that be so pretty, but be so full of crap. So now, keep your femininity. I'm not saying stop it. Sit there and be dainty, but be dainty and eat the food that's going to work for you. Put your food to work and, you know, I know you know you like to call people to do things for you. Well, call somebody to go down there to the store and get you, get the food that's going to work for you. And there you go. But don't be sitting up there looking pretty and have your nails done and your face snatched and stuff and you be stinking. Stinking so much that when you open up your mouth, your breath is stinking, but you look good though. Your breath stinking because you guys, you don't have no hydrochloric acid up in the air to break down that food. So it's molding up in the air. But you look good on the outside, though. You look good on the outside. I'm y'all laughing, but I'm serious, though. These people need to know this here. <laughs> you look good on the outside, but you kind of wrong shit. You know, we go, as women, any men too, we go to the bathroom and we go to public places behind one another. And sometimes... You don't be smelling too good even when they're not doing the number two up in there. But they be looking so beautiful though. It's like, oh my gosh. They want you. But they're pretty at the same time. They really, really, really shape-shifting up in here. They really, really shape-shifting. So, <laughs> I'm just so serious. I'm so serious. That's when you know. And so all of the gum in the world, forget that gum. Forget that peppermint. No, clean up that God once and for all. And so these foods on the meal plan could work for you in your feminine energy. And you could sit there and look so beautiful and have your beautiful makeup and your beautiful nails and your beautiful eyebrows and you, your beautiful hairstyles and your, you know, your feminine flowy dress. But you could smell good too at the same time. You could go to the bathroom too and be regular at the same time. It's time for all of that fronting because a lot of them pretty women, that they be the worst off. It be the pretty ones that just don't even know no better. Eat for your blood type every day. <laughs> so, so now when you're eating for your blood type, now you're regular. You are supposed to go. If you eat a meal, you are supposed to release that meal. And you eat another meal, you're supposed to release that meal other meal you know it ain't it don't you listen to no doctor that's gonna tell you oh oh that's normal for me what it's normal for you because that's how you eat you're eating the wrong stuff and you keep that stuff in there and you're gonna be full of crap and so that that s-h-i-t that's in there what happens is it gets harder it gets harder and it becomes a blockage inside of you the best way to determine a blood type right here, Eldon at home kit. Go to Amazon, order an Eldon at home kit. Very inexpensive. Prick your finger, your ring finger at home. You know your blood type. There's no reason. It's time for us to empower each other. I'm giving you the tools to lead yourself, to heal yourself, and then heal everybody in your family right here. Tell you where to go to find out because the doctors ain't going to readily give you your blood type. You call them up today. They're going to tell you, well, you need to come on in and we're going to have to test you. Meanwhile, they've been testing you since you was a baby. They knew your blood type when you came to They know more about you than you know about yourself. Because if you was an old and you was an old blood type and you was up in that hospital, they was pulling that blood from you because they know that you're the, you're the universal donor. They took more blood from you than anybody because you didn't know yourself. They came to you and said, oh, well, we're going to have to just run some more tests. You know, I don't know. We're going to have to get three or four bottles of, bottles of, um, bottles of blood because we, we don't know if this is enough. Meanwhile, you get the elder at home kid and all you need is a prick on a little dot to term, determine your blood type. Quit getting bamboozled. I knew my blood type when I was having my son. Oh, you're from the Caribbean. They tell you your blood type. Well, in America... <laughs> In the in these days right here, that a lot of people they got a lot of people on here, a lot of people that don't know their blood type. They come through and they don't know, and so they gotta get the kit and then they come back. A lot of people that's on here discovered finding out their blood type from me telling them, oh here this you go here go here and do this here. They just discovered it. 
or they'll in, or you call the doctors up and they'll say, well, you come on in and we'll we'll send you to send the information over to Quest Diagnostic, and then they're gonna charge you five times more than with this at home kit where you could have did it yourself. Gonna charge you for you to know your blood type, and they know it. They've been knowing it all the while. <laughs> That's how I found out. Hey, lady, till you found out like that, right? Because a lot of people didn't know. And a lot of people, parents, probably forgot along the way. Or, you know, maybe they didn't tell them. Maybe the conversation just never came up. I had a transfusion. And it took more for me than they gave me. There you go. 66. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that heart. That was pretty cool, King. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, you all over here on this here page. Uh-oh. I'm sorry about that. Hello. Thank y'all for being here. I'm on. I'm alive on two pages. Let's see. That's how I found out. Yes. When I had a high-risk pregnancy, they immediately told me my blood type in case. Yeah. Yeah. See, in those situations, yeah. Those situations, the elder was easy. And then, it, yeah, and it only takes about five minutes. And if you feel so empowered because this is something you sat there and watched. I have a kit right here, just in case you, you you need to do one. The kit that I purchased looks just like this. Wait, let me take this here. Let me take this, um, let me see. Let me take this effect off right quick so y'all can see this right quick. Let's see. All right. Let me take it off of here so both screens can see. Let's see. This is my older phone. It be tripping sometimes. Not. Okay. All right. So here we go. This is the kit. This is the at home Elden. I'm gonna show it closer. Kit. I'm showing it closer on both pages. This is the kit right here. Okay, so inside of this kit, this here silver um package right here, this is where a card is. There's a card with four dots on it, right? A card. And so the purpose of the card is for you to put your blood in the circle of the four dots. They give you a little alcohol pad. They give you little sticks to stir your little blood up or whatever because you're mixing your blood with a little drop of water. They give you a little dropper right here to, to put, you know, squeeze you some water and drop it in the circle with your blood and you're just mixing it up. This right here is the little uh, needle right here. In here, the needle. So all you're doing is pricking your finger. Well, you use your little alcohol pad. They give you an alcohol pad too right here. And then a little personal little pad. You wipe your finger off with a little pad. You stick your finger with a little needle right here. You get a little bit, you squeeze your finger, you put a little bit of the blood on all four circles. Then you use your little, um, this little squeezy thingy <laughs> to get a little water and mix water in each four of the little circles for your blood. Then you get your little sticks right here and you stir your blood up within its own little circle. When you do that there, you look at the little circles, and this is how you read your test results. This is how you read your test results right here. And you find out what, what, which one of these four circles look like the circle on my card. I'm teaching you how it go. It's really, really easy. So if you had solids like King, like if King was to do this here test, his, his, cir his circles would be like the top because King is the O, right? The universal blood type, the O. So his would be all solid. But everybody else... Our blood has been a little tainted a little bit, and so we're gonna be, we gonna be, you know, a o, I mean, an A, a B, or a B, whether positive or negative. But it's gonna tell you. So now you're empowered. Now you know what your blood type is, and you found out within five minutes in the privacy of your home, inexpensive, way inexpensive than um, Quest Diagnostic gonna be. That's empowering. That's a beautiful journey right there. That's somebody that's getting to know their self. That's love of self. That's a will and tenacity to want to learn more about yourself. Sometimes in life, you go to, through a phase and it's, it, you, you, you need to get into a selfish phase in life. Where you got to fill up your cup and get to know everything it is about you. What makes me happy? What kind of foods make me feel good? You know, what do I enjoy doing when nobody else is around? That's called self-love, and that really matters. This, what I'm teaching you, is empowering you for your own self-love. Self-love. And because at the end of the day, you loving these foods, you doing this for yourself, is love for yourself. This is the thing that's going to heal you because it's really the love for self that heals all. 
Because love heals all. So I'm teaching you this here as it pertains to the physical, but note at the back of the in the back of the day and in the back of your mind, rather, your mind is saying, Oh, she's getting to know herself. Oh, she's falling in love with herself. Oh, this feels good. This is about me. Oh, you see, and that's the thing that you, 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 that's the fire you really want to ignite outside of that fire of being inflamed. You want to ignite the fire that, oh, oh, how I love me. Oh, yeah. I'm one that didn't know my blood type. See there? What's the, what's the at-home herbal potion just joining? The at-home herbal potion is when you're sick. That's when you're sick at home and you can't get to the grocery store. You can't get to the grocery store and or you better yet you trying to eat for your blood type and you maybe you know you got a die off effect you know which happens when you you know when the old critters start to circulate back into your bloodstream again because they've been tucked off because your body was trying to save your life and tucked it off inside and so being that it moved around it's in your blood stream again, stream again. And so now you feel a little sicky. Well, when you feel a little sicky, that's what you do. You get you your own potion, your herbal potion. And I call it an herbal potion because it, a, a potion does two things. A potion will sit up there and destroy something and it'll give life to it at the same time. So what is this herbal potion destroying? It's destroying the parasites in your gut. But it's giving you your life force back. So it's giving you your energy back. It's allowing you to go to the bathroom. Being that it's mixed with an oil, a highly beneficial oil based upon your blood type, it's going to lubricate like your gallbladder duct, for example. A lot of times we'll be having gallstones just sitting right there, you know, and our liver just be getting corroded with all kinds of different things and nothing is being expelled because our gallbladder duct is clogged up. So being that you're going to be consuming this herbal potion, which consists of herbs that you can go out and buy, and you put this concoction together with your choice highly beneficial oil and the alchemist oil, you put that together and now you're empowered for life as a go-to something when you're not feeling good. That's what the herbal potion is. And so that's going to lubricate your liver and allow those gold stones to be released. And I promise you when, when I first, because I was real toxic back in the day, when I first took this here potion, I had been having problems like like my 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 right side. I I said I was saying it's like my right side behind my breast just hurting me. I didn't know nothing about no 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 organs and all that. It's like it's just hurting me, and I was just holding my arm like it's like something right here is just hurting me, and I was I having problems with it. And the doctors, you know, they suggested all these procedures and all of this here medicine or whatever. And I had went back. I, I, I didn't get the medication, but I had went back for the next, next checkup. And I was like, I took this here stuff. I took da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da. I mixed it together and I swallowed it. And I was telling the doctor, I was like, it was almost like little marbles. I laid in the bed and I could feel marbles just falling down. This was me not knowing that my, my freaking gallbladder duct was clogged up, right? And the marble sensation that I felt was like marbles dropping out of my gallbladder duct. And I was telling her about it and she was just looking at me and she's like, that's impossible. You would have required surgery for that. And I'm like, what? I'm telling you, this is when I begin to put two and two together that, oh, they into medicine, they ain't into healing. They're into medicine, medicine or surgery. They don't know nothing about these alternative ways to heal the body. And she just told me, no, that's impossible. I'm like, lady, I'm telling you, I put this herb and this herb and this herb together. And I lay there and, it, and now I feel better. <laughs> so basically, that's what the, the lubrication of it for your choice, highly beneficial oil will do for your liver. Also, it will do the same with your kidneys, for example, because your kidneys is where all of the acids live. Like your blood is more on the alkaline range, but the range, but your kidneys are, are acidic because it holds the acids, right? And it's supposed to be expelling the acids and the toxins. Thank you for whoever chose to, to, to get a new lifestyle. Thank you for whoever just chose that. We welcome you on this side. 
I'm happy that you ain't going to be suffering no more. So the lymphatic system is where all the acids, you know, the uric acid, the lactic acid, the toxins, because it's designed to clean the blood. The lymphatic system is the backup for the blood. And so being that you're taking the at-home herbal potion, now your kidneys are lubricated. Now your kidneys can, can, can secrete through your adrenal glands, from your adrenal, adrenal glands, they'll release to your uh, kidneys and allow that to secrete via your urine. So now your urine will be a little bit thicker. It might be a little bit darker because now the acids are coming out. And so what's happening, if you have the gout, if you have swollen uh, tonsils, if you have whatever bacteria you have that was in your kidneys or your lymphatic system, it's being washed out because you have a potion that is expelling that waste. Kidney waste and bowel waste at the same time. That's your healer. That's your healer. That's what the potion is. That's your healer based upon your blood type. And you just empowered yourself to heal yourself. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Let me see somebody over here saying something. Okay. Thank y'all for being here. Hey, Don. Thank y'all for being here on that page. Yeah. So that's eating for your blood type. Food help with joint pains. Yes. Because what is pain? Pain is inflammation. Pain is acids. It's all going back to eating. It's all in this court. Every, I have 24 new messages down here saying every last one of them going to be eating for your blood type. Every last one of them. Because yes. Okay. Let me share with you how that is. He says, does eating for your blood type food help with joint pain? Joint pain is inflammation. Why are you inflamed? How you got inflamed when all, all you was doing was just eating? You was just sit down and all you just did was just open up your mouth. How you got on fire? Where the fire came? Who, 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 who lit the match? You see what I'm saying? You lit the match. We light the match like this here. That, that's... You lift the match. You either lighten the match or you're putting out the fire. Every time you do like this here. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me put out the fire right quick. Let me put out the fire right here. If I had a fire, this here just put it out. But if I was sitting here being a, let me think about something that a bee. I'm a blood type B, y'all. So let me think about something that a bee can't have. But if I was here sitting, sitting here um, eating something with tomatoes in it, it'll be a fire. Fire. Ketchup, fire. Spaghetti, fire. You see? Fire. Because the chemical reaction between the ketchup and my blood type being that I'm a bee, I can't have ketchup. At least I want to be on fire. And now I've empowered myself by knowing that thing about me. So now I don't fool with no ketchup. No, do you want ketchup with that? No, no, thank you. Do you want a tomato? No, 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 thank you. But coconut water. Ain't no fire. Mm -mm, ain't no fire over here. Mm -mm. Sorry to be sleeping. It's really good because they ain't got no fire in it. Oh, yeah. No fire. It's that easy. No joint pain. Mm -mm. Just as limber as can be. Mm -mm. Just as active can be as can be. Can do whatever I want to do. Yeah, because there ain't, ain't no fire. That's how that go. My mom told all her kids when they were younger, oh, okay, that's a beautiful thing because some of them, <coughs> excuse me, some of the moms don't, don't remember and don't know. You're the best. I'm glad I found you. Oh, thank you, babe. Thank you, King. That's the King talking. That's the call about a knocking. Caribbean, put it on your half card. Oh, okay. Okay, when you're born. Okay, that's what's up. That's, that's what's up. How to get the test. The test, Amazon. It's right there. It's right there. I was in that home kit. You see it? Amazon. Go to Amazon, put it in your cart. There you go. Let them bring it to your house. Oh, somebody answer you. How would this let us know what to eat? Everything is listed. Everything is listed what to eat. All your highly beneficial foods are listed. A meal plan is listed. Then it's categorized on the last page. It's listed. It's listed everywhere. Seven day meal plan. Right here. Seven day meal plan. 
And then if you don't want to know all the foods that are highly beneficial, you just want to lose weight, just get the instant weight loss cheat code. Now that's, now that's going to be limited food. That's just foods that are highly beneficial and they're going to make you lose weight when you get the instant weight loss. But if you want all the high, if I, if somebody asked, they were overweight and she was like, I'm, I'm fat, well, tell me what I need. Well, I would say for those that are heavyweight, you know, and they're going to make this a lifestyle, get the seven day meal plan so you have the ideas of the meal and get the instant weight loss cheat codes. That way, you if you get hungry outside of the ones that's stripping you, you can get an idea of some things that's going to fill you up if you have such a big appetite. But the instant weight loss cheat code ones are only highly beneficial foods that will be highly beneficial and snatch you back in. They're going to do two things. So every food is not going to be on that list. That's going to be a smaller list than the seven day meal plan. But if you want to know them highly beneficial ones, just because you're trying to, you know how the people you want to lose weight because of the wedding coming up or whatever and then they won't go back to whatever they was doing maybe they will benefit from that or the people that just really want to know those foods there and make those foods there their lifetime their life um style because they you know want to lose maybe 50 or more pounds you know i would start there but they're those two are different is what i'm saying to you they're different yeah then I put on, I put on there, you know, how to put the meal together, you know, what, what type of season to put on there, what type of oil to use if you're frying, you know, what type of fish, what type of meat you could eat if you do want to eat the meat. Now, you don't have to be a meat eater. You could take the meat off if you don't want to have meat. I'm not saying eat meat, but I wanted to put the meal plan together for everybody that had, you know, that, that could have options because everybody don't want to be no vegan. But if you are a blood type, you have, I put on there because chicken is neutral to you. I put on there that, you know, that's neutral for you. But at the same time, I put on some other options that you probably never explored before either. Because if you are a, you need to be able to put some veggies together for your sensitive digestive system. You need to know about, you know, some of the beans that you can consume outside of the meats. You need to know about some of the leaves that you can consume, some of the fruits. You know, some of the tofu options that are available for you and soy options that are available for you that are light and that won't be so hard on your digestive system. So, let's see. She has a website with all the blood types. Oh, oh, y'all answering for me. Okay, thank you. I had a lazy bowel movement. What can I do for this? You eat for your blood type and get those digestive enzymes going because they, that's their job. That's just letting us, you know rather, that you, your digestive enzymes or have been depleted so you activate them by giving them giving your body the foods that's going to activate them and it'll break the food up and you'll start using the bathroom again we can't say we can't walk around in a physical reality and just eat burgers and meats you know and you know heavy meals with no fiber no digestive enzymes in our gut and wonder why logically we don't go to the bathroom we got to one day come to that place where we say, oh, oh, oh. And this is that, this is that place where you could say, oh, <laughs> this is it. And your answer is right above the screen. Yeah. You can also buy the book. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Either way, empower yourself. Empower yourself. Yes, yeah, all about the money. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the information on the book. Yeah, definitely. That's what we discuss on my lives. That's what we're going to be discussing now after I get through these comments. On my live. Yep, I need help. Eat for your blood. I'm skinny. Do oh, I'm skinny. Do oh, need a meal plan. Every Everybody, every blood type need a meal plan. Every blood type has a re meal plan. Ready, you live, baby, boy, on my website. So the meal plan comes from me. This is me putting together the meal plan myself for you. Be based upon my 10 plus years of being, I don't want to say vegan, more like a fruitarian type vegan that I am in the research that I've done, the research I've done, being an herbalist, being overweight myself once upon a time, being able to thrive and no longer wear glasses, being able to clear my skin from the fluid fuel cysts and bumps that I used to have, being able to now breathe and once could not. I had a guru 
who taught me a lot about herbs, who had a garden and worked at a garden center. I volunteered for years at Farmers Markets with herbs and did this research myself for my body, for my healing of myself. I I sat amongst the greats. I volunteered at herb, uh, what they call it, Whole Food Store on Mondays, every Monday on Broad Street in New Orleans, Louisiana, helping my guru with preserves and herbs and detoxins, do detoxes for the people. So I educated myself on this here lifestyle. This became a lifestyle for me first. For me first. <laughs> not, not, not really, not really focusing on one specific person telling me this and telling me that. I focus more or less on how my body felt when I ate certain foods. And that's what I concluded that it had to be a blood type issue. It had to be something else that even underneath the understanding of getting to know who Dr. Sabi was, because everybody was telling me, you need to, you need to research Dr. Sabi because he on the same line of the things that you're saying, because my body was sending me the signal energetically when it felt good or when it did not. And so I began to eliminate those things. And so when I stumbled upon eating for my blood type, I'm like, oh, hell yeah, this is what I've been feeling. Because I would actually sit there and I'll be like telling my family, you feel that? You feel like something ain't right? You feel it? Do you feel it? And they thinking that I'm crazy. But I was tapped into my internal self on another level that they were not. You see? And so that's, that's why I know this works. Because it worked with me. That's why I know it can save people. Because I save myself first. And then I save other people in my environment with this knowledge. And I want to share with you. That's it. Let's see. Eating all that chicken. Yeah. I love coconut oil water. Oh my God. Me too. That's what I hydrate with when I'm at the gym. Oh yeah. What if you're allergic to coconuts? Well, you shouldn't consume them then if you're allergic to them. Because then you're going to um have an issue with them. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. Go ahead and get it forever, y'all. Go ahead and get it. And come up with your own team. Come up with your own thing. Empower your own self. Go ahead. Go ahead, babe. Yes, say, what if I'm allergic to tofu and coconut? If you're allergic to anything on the list, then don't consume that thing. But you know what? The, the, the thing about, let me share something with you about allergies, though. Let me tell you something about allergies. When you're allergic to something, <sighs> something that's, I'm talking about something or, organic, and not, not to say that you can't be allergic to nothing. Sometimes allergies, and I've seen this, where it start with one thing and then it end up being another thing. First, you're allergic to, I don't know, you're allergic to coconut, then you're allergic to peanuts, then you find out you're allergic to walnuts, then you find out you're allergic to the soap, then you find out you're allergic to, to I don't know, an orange. Then you alert. Then you get this list of all you. Now you got a list that you have to carry with you to remind you that you what you allergic to because you allergic to so much now think about that just think about it you're growing with allergies because something in there inside of your gut has you having that reaction to your foods now when your allergies start to come up out the woodworks you alert to this and this and this and this, and this. you need a detox bottom line you need a, a detox detox your body detox simply detox your body and you'll find all of that stuff go away because i'm guilty of that too i'm guilty of that oh no i could i can't could. in the beginning when i was at my lower self and i was sick and and you know <laughs> And I had a weak immune system back then. Yeah, oh no, I can't eat that. Oh, that's going to upset my stomach. And it could be like maybe a orange juice or something. It could be like maybe coconut water. Oh no, I can't, you know. It could be something that's so highly yielding for my blood type. But I was allergic to back then. So be mindful of that. Make sure you're detoxing every six months. If you, if you don't eat for your blood type... At least be fair enough with yourself where, okay, I go to the car dealer and I change my oil every so many miles. 
how about I just at least treat myself to a, doc, a detox? Because if you put in that load on your body like that, you got to detox. If your body is telling you, hey, I'm allergic to that. Hey, you got a rash right here. Hey, you're not going to the bathroom. Hey, your ankle swole. Your body is saying, hey, could you detox me? So listen to your body. Listen to your body. Yeah. I'm transitioning to vegan. How old do you feel about it? Uh, uh, I don't I don't really care for the low substitution of diets. I don't. So I'm not a fan of any of those. Any of those those substitutions, the impossible burger, the uh, keto diet. I'm mm -mm. I don't believe in none of that. So I really don't. You beyond vegan? What do you mean you're beyond vegan? I'm thankful for whoever that is. I'm proud of you for whoever that is that just purchased the meal plan. What do you mean I am beyond vegan? You, um, must, what you mean? You get in, you're about to get the book and you're saying you're beyond vegan? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Nice. Sounds very good to hear. Proud of you and your journey. Yeah, I'm proud of you all too. I'm proud of you all too. And this equips every last one of you to be in a position to help your family members who may be suffering. You find out their blood type too. And if you cook for those people, you could feed those people. You could tell those people what juices, you know, what fruits will benefit them the most. So you wouldn't have to be like a bystander for them suffering. Because people are simply suffering in the hospital, you know, suffering being sick because of this. Because there's a chemical reaction that's happening between their blood and the food that they're eating. And they're suffering suffering unnecessarily. But who going to tell them? TikTok is TikTok, TikTok, TikTok not going to make this kind of stuff go viral. <laughs> no, 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 no. Who going to tell them? But yeah, it'll make something go viral like putting olive oil, lemon, and cayenne pepper. That'll go viral per se. Like, right? But guess what? The A's. That's going to destroy the A's because the A's can't have cayenne pepper. They have a sensitive digestive system. So if they try that trend, poof, yeah. Where do you get the meal plan? The meal plan is available on my website, saltoftheearthpub.org. Saltoftheearthpub.org is listed at the top of the um, screen. Seven-day meal plan. It comes with all of the foods, all of the fruits, all of the meats every day, everything. But but like I was saying, the, the people... On rinse and repeat, pretty much. Rinse and repeat, because they're trying this. The A's, they probably done tried. Well, I tried it. They be the ones in the comments and be like, but that didn't work for me. They didn't know. They didn't know there was an A, though. They don't, because they don't know their blood type yet. They never even got the, the little elder kid. They just trying it. They trying to lose weight. They wonder why other people, they looking at O's. They're like, dang, you could eat that. You could eat that meat and it didn't hurt you. You, oh, I could, I can't eat. See, see, that's too much for me. Oh, no, I can't. And then they wonder, and they feel left out. Oh, oh, I don't know what I could eat. Or, or they're a little girl or a little boy at the dinner table, and their mom was telling them, you can't go outside until you eat all of that meat off of your plate. And, but they sitting up there like, last time I ate, they get to their little polio selves, last time I ate that, though, mommy, my stomach hurt really, really bad. It's just too much. I can't. I can't. I won't. I won't. But their mama probably are old, and thinking that they're just trying to, trying to be smart. Like, right? Remember back in the day, I, I was one of them. I was one of them that my mom, <laughs> my mom used to tell me to eat my food that I didn't like, that didn't agree with me. And I'd be the last one at the dinner table. She'd tell me I couldn't leave the dinner table and I'd be at the table till 10 o'clock at night. And when she come back to put up the um the food and then she'll look at me and she'd be like, go to bed. And I just went to bed. I went to bed hungry that night because I didn't want that. Cause the last time she made that and I and I swallowed that thing, it made my stomach hurt. And so I said I ain't doing it no more. But just imagine living in a house like that. So this empowers the parents to to not to be like that. You know, we're supposed to be the ancestors righting the wrongs of our past. To not if you're one of those parents, check yourself now. If you're one of them parents like my mom was, check yourself. Don't be forcing people to eat certain things because you're the you're the adult. You're the adult, but you don't know how to feed them according to their blood type, though. See, 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 some parents don't know everything now. Come on. We still be students learning sometimes, too. And that be our first, second child. We ain't did this here thing before. We ain't like we had a whole, whole, whole bunch of children. 
<laughs> a whole whole bunch of experiences. We on a journey too. We on a journey too. Yeah. I've not been sick in almost all my life. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful feeling. So I'm ha I'm hopeful that you eat in the right thing. Detox every quarter of every year. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm realizing chicken is bad for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. For the bees? Yeah. I realized that years ago on my own. Um, Like right when I wrote my, my first book. When I wrote my book, I wrote actually in my book. It's called He Who Has an Ear, Let Him Hear. I wrote in my book the day. <laughs> The day, the last day that I ate chicken, the last day, and I didn't know what the heck I was going to eat because I'm black. You see me, huh? <laughs> I came up in a black neighborhood, black community around all black people. And, you know, and I'm getting to the fact that black people love some fried chicken, the fried chicken, the baked chicken, the, you know, barbecue chicken, 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 Popeye's chicken. I'm from the South. Chicken was everywhere. But it was not agreeing with me. And finally, I got brave enough to listen to that thing and let that thing go. So for the bees, the bees, okay, we, we, we can't do the chicken, but we could do turkey, though. The turkey have turkey um, wings and stuff that you could bake and do. It's like about, it's just making that switch over to the thing that's not going to inflame you and cause your fire. So if, if I wanted to, that would be my choice of meat. If I was to consume any type of meat. It's going to be like a turkey type of meat. Because I'm a bee. And I know chicken going to put me on fire. Yeah, that's a good realization that you came to, um, A. Peters. That's good. And, you, and, and, and the beautiful thing about it is sometimes on this journey, we come to this conclusion on our own. <laughs> we come to it on our own. Outside of eating right for your blood type. Outside of, you know, other people. Because we didn't got inflamed so many times it hurt our stomach so many times but we got to keep on doing we like the little hamster on the wheel we got to keep on keep it on and then it's like nah i'm getting off i'm getting off i'm getting off no i'm tired of i'm tired of that feeling because i know i'm gonna get that feeling and i don't want that feeling no more yeah so thank you for that information you just gave is priceless yeah 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 it is I received my alchemist all today. Oh, good for you. What do? What do, Harris? Thank you. Thank you for your support. That alchemist all is the truth. I had, look, I have mine right here. <laughs> right here. This is my actual personal. This is available on my website, too. It's an alchemist oil. It's really, really powerful. It can clean your meats and stuff from parasites. This is the oil that I had on that video that kind of went viral when they had a parasite in that fish that I destroyed in nothing. The cayenne pepper and the coconut vinegar, the key lime, or nothing didn't penetrate as powerful as this alchemist oil did. I actually oil pulled with this here for my um, teeth in the morning. I put it in my water pick to rinse my mouth because it freshens your breath. I clean my meat with the alchemist oil um, by adding like three, five drops of it when I'm, you know, rinsing meat when I'm cooking for other people or something. I like to clean the, kill the parasites this way. You know, you could kill the parasites by the heat from um, the temp, but I like to make sure it's the net meat clean because they be putting formaldehyde and all kind of stuff on some of those meats out there. So when I do cook meat for people, I like to clean it with this here alchemist oil. And the alchemist oil is also good externally. You can put it on your skin, like for pain, for you know arthritis, inflammation type pain, like on your chest for bronchitis type issues because it helps to dissolve mucus on the chest. And you could also take it uh, um, internally because it's a natural antibiotic, you know, to kill parasites internally, the eggs and larva that they secrete when they're trying to, um, when they're about to be eliminated pretty much, or when they're trying to reproduce. So the alchemist oil, that's available on my website too, saltoftheearthpub.org. That's one of the top sellers I've been, um, <laughs> I've been selling a lot of them. That's why I stayed up real late this morning restocking and everything on my alchemist oil because it's been not able to stay on the shelf but i'm thankful website is not visible in the cart what do you mean the website is not visible in the cart it's on the top oh okay she answered them yeah it's salt of the earth pub dot o-r-g salt of the earth pub dot o-r-g your info is priceless saying things i 
didn't know or never heard of. Yeah, you should get the Chrysler's uh, meal plans where you can have everything. You know, I understand that, you know, some people like to listen to get to get extra information. But as far as listening and, 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 and waiting and putting off your health, you know, until I tell you the, <laughs> the, the certain thing, mm, you got you to gotta take care of your Take care of your body. What's the name of your book? He who has an ear, let him hear. E for your um, blood type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm B. I'm enjoying lamb. You really are. Really. Um, I, I know another B, and it was like saying, we're going to have to get some lamb and taste it. I'm like, oh. Because they have like lamb chops. I ain't, I ain't too, you know, because I'm more like a vegetarian and stuff. I ain't really too interested in you know, all them different kind of animals and stuff. But one of my B um, friends who's eating for blood type now is like, yeah, we, we should try that. I'm like, oh, Lord, I haven't opened up a can of worms here because now <laughs> now they want me to try lamb because they know that I'm a B and I could eat <laughs> lamb. <laughs> that's funny, huh? You enjoying it. But that's good. That's good, though. Does it taste like pork chop? Is it like a pork chop? Because I used to love me some pork chops more back in the day. But now I can't, I can't stand the smell of pork. Love sharing that video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was a very, very late. Y yeah, because I, yeah, and I even respond to you. That's how you know, because I responded to you. And then I was like, what's the name of that book again? And then I, I went and got the, the book out the, um, out the office. <laughs> I was up. I was up. Lighter than a pork chop? Oh, okay. That's what's up. And I guess it don't smell like the pork either. So... Which blood type y'all want to talk to? I mean, talk about today. If y'all tell me who's the most, like, if you tell me your blood type, and I'll just go from who the most blood types are in the room, and we'll talk about that one. O's always here. <laughs> O's. Now, what is the I? What is the I? What does that mean? I see two B's. I see, oh, I see three O's now, though. O's? Oh, now it's even. B, okay. I think they have more. You by yourself, Miss BSO. <laughs> I don't see no more A's, Miss BSO. I see a lot of O's. Oh, they got two A's. Two A's. Only one A, B. I see more O's look like it. I see more O's. Okay. That's it? Anybody else up in here? Because look like the O's. Look like we'll start with the O's and then I guess... Yeah, that's what, yeah, wait a minute, let me see something. Let me see. Let me see if I can see that. Let's see. Let me see. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to do it based upon this here percentage here. <laughs> it looked like old to me though. Let me see. Okay, I'm looking at it now. Yeah. Okay, y'all y'all answered the poll. I see 83. 83% O. 16% A. <laughs> so that's where we'll start. We'll start with O's. It's always them O's though, y'all. But it, I think it's not fair because y'all already the gods, and I think y'all just powerful energetically already. So y'all always kind of like get your weight. That's what I think. I think it's the energetic. I don't even think it's the physical. <laughs> y'all not fair. Y'all not fair. Y'all gotta share God. <laughs> Y'all always in here. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> them they're gone O's, but I love them though. That's the matter. Knockers. They like a little clan group, almost like um, a little gang or something. Like they'll they'll um, give blood to any other blood type, right? <laughs> it's always the O's. It is. 
They'll give blood to any of the other blood types. They'll help us out. But they like a little click amongst themselves. Like, nah, we ain't about to take none of y'all blood, though. <laughs> we only gonna take blood from each other. Like, right? <laughs> y'all ain't about to, y'all ain't about to taint us. That's what they be saying, I think. That's what they be saying. All right, now let's go over some things about the O's. And some of the O's, like, you know, based upon y'all experiences, you know, y'all could comment and, and share if you find this to be true. So we're going over the O's today. And off top, for me, what I noticed about the O's, outside of them being the original bloodline in the physical reality and being able to give blood, they're very athletically strong. They're, um... They are called or known to be the meat eater or the hunter per se. They're the ones that have the most hydrochloric acid and can break down their food, you know, best amongst all other blood types. But here's the thing about the O's. Over 60 with large horses on my face, cheeks with, will that oil help? Tried all acne meds since I was 13. Yeah. That would. We have to dilute it with a carrier oil. And you definitely need to know your blood type. So if you know your blood type, you on the seven um, day meal plan, it'll tell you what the oils is that's highly beneficial. So when you get your alchemist oil, you will dilute your alchemist oil with a carrier oil. And you want to use your highly beneficial carrier oil to dilute it because the alchemist oil will burn your skin if you don't dilute it. That's how powerful it is. It's organic clove and oregano. So it, the um, oregano inside of it has a burning type numbing sensation. So that's why you have to dilute it. And so you dilute it and it will bring it down. Yeah, they have testimonies on the website about people who have tonsils and, and cysts and things, lumps that it subsided. But that's a topical thing. So maybe you should incorporate it in your diet. And so that meal uh, potion that's going to be available if you get the bundle of the seven day meal plan. Well, on the third page in red, you'll see your potion for your blood type. And you, you swallow at the same time while you're putting it on externally with a carrier oil. You swallow your potion, which includes five drops of the alchemist oil. So now you're getting it internally and externally. Now it's going to help you drain your lymphatic system. It's going to, it's going to give it a numbing sensation if it's painful for you, but it's going to be draining it and helping you along the way. But I, for you, I would say get the alchemist oil because you're going to need it for your potion anyway. And get that seven day meal plan because you need to get them di the digestive system working and that lymphatic, that lymphatic system flowing too. Okay? Oh, you, oh, okay. Okay, you already know you'll be. Okay, I'm a B too. Oh, that's good. You'll be. You'll be. You can fight that real, real easy. You'll be. Because one more thing, I'm coming, O's. One more thing, um, being be that you know you'll be. B is balance. I need you to know this. So don't operate from fear with it because the B blood type can avoid sickness and disease real easy because you know we we, we balance we we have a balanced diet and because of our the integrity of our digestive system it can bounce back easy you know so we be bobbing and weaving through sickness and disease we thrive in that area so you good you good okay oh so back to the O's. So y'all have the hydrochloric acid that really, really help y'all with digestion and everything. Grateful for all the screen tappers. Oh, thank y'all for tapping the screen. Oh, wait a minute, O's. Y'all up in here. Give me some more likes, O's. They got 47 O's up in here and I got 5,000 likes. Get these likes up. It's offering time. TikTok just told me to take a break anyway. It's offering time. 6,000. We could get that to 10 right quick with 47. 10,000 likes. Let's get to 10,000 likes. Over here, let me get to five. Um... Well, can we get to at least 450 over here? I know it only have about two of y'all over here. Can y'all tap a little bit? Oh, y'all, y'all getting up here? This, this is my new page over here. Let me drink something. <laughs> it's offering time. When you receiving, you got to give. That's balance. Oh, excuse me for the slipping. I love me some coconut water, y'all. 
that's my breakfast. Okay, we almost at the 10. We at 7.7. .7. We almost at 500 over here. We got six more, six more taps over here. No, that's full. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I thought that was full 90. 94. That's 454. <laughs> y'all good. It's just two of y'all over there. But these O's over here, they got about 50 O's over here. And y'all, y'all the gods over here. Y'all could y'all could actually get that to 100,000 real quick because y'all gods, y'all master manifestors. I don't know what's taking y'all so long to get to 10,000 likes. <laughs> what's going on, God? What's going on? Okay, we at nine. Come on, that should be a toss in the bucket for you, God. Come on. <laughs> That's some O's. We had 9.4, 9.5. Okay, thank y'all. Thank y'all over here. I appreciate it. Thank y'all. Y'all could raise. Thank y'all. That's Miss um, Ladybug over here. We had 9.9. .9. We almost there. Okay, we had 10. It's an energy exchange, folks. Thank you. Yes. Hey, Brenda. <laughs> okay, so... That's good. Offering time over with. So let's begin. So blood type O. That's the hunter, the meat eater. They have a really hearty digestive. Oh, thank you, King. Really hearty digestive. King or O? Digestive system. The downside for the O though is for is health and wellness is concerned that you have to look out for is the simple fact that you have so much of hydrochloric acid that you are more prone to like peptic ulcers. You know, because of that high stomach acid, you're more prone to like things in your esophagus, like, you know, burning in your um, esophag esophagus area or even and or even thyroid issues. And when you're eating, when it's outside of eating for your diet, you actually can develop depression and anxiety because you're so inflamed with this fire, right? Because you're getting the fire from your high hydrochloric acid, but you also doubled up on fire seemingly like because of the simple fact that the chemical reaction that's happening with the foods that you're eating that's not in alignment with your diet, they're causing you fire or inflammation too. So your fire, you a fireball of energy. <laughs> so you got to really be mindful. Thank you for whoever um, just purchased um Thank you for choosing you, is what I'm really saying. Choosing a new lifestyle. So here we go. You're the meat eater. You have a hearty digestive tract, an overactive immune system, intolerant to dietary and um, environmental adaptions. So if you were a workout fanatic, you know this to be true, that you could do vigorous workout exercises. But the thing about it is you have to avoid wheat and highly, I mean, and add high quality grass fed meats to your diet, but they have to be like organic type meats for you. So organic, when I say organic, that's why the pork is out of there because pork is not a real meat at all. It's genetically modified. So when you choose your meats, it should be organic. Now you can, you could digest a plethora of meats because you have high hydrochloric acid to break it down but there are some things that you should still avoid even with that high hydrochloric acid things that are not real such as pork so pork bacon and ham is out for you duck liver goose liver and quail and turkey if you eat those type of meats that's out for you that's not in alignment with your digestive system and so you have to keep up with eating non-inflammatory foods because if you do eat the inflammatory ones, you're going to be like a Debbie Downer. You're going to be mad irritable. Now you have all of this energy as far as being able to work out. This is why you probably love to work out and go to the gym. You really, really love that. And so that's your release, your form of releasing, going to the, you don't like me? Oh, wow. Hey, teacher. Hello, Dion. So that's your form of release. So for O, you love to go to the gym. You don't necessarily have to be out of weight, you know, highly weighted or whatever, obese or whatever. You don't necessarily have to be out of alignment as pertaining to weight to go to the gym because that's how you release your stress is what I'm saying. 
So when you're releasing your stress, you're getting this dopamine effect just by being in the gym. You're feeling good just by your serotonin levels increasing. So that's why it's also important for you to eat for your blood type too, because when you get the inflammation, when your blood and the food that you eat that creates a lectin, a negative chemical, when that negative chemical happens, say for example, you eating maybe from Chick-fil-A or whatever, that, um, that peanut oil or whatever that they fry in that causes you inflammation. Well, you have serotonin. You went to the gym and you had your serotonin fix and everything. You had your serotonin fix, but as soon as you ate something that wasn't in, in alignment with your blood type, yeah, I was just checking. It's the peanut oil that you can't consume. Soon as that peanut oil went into your digestive system, womp, 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 womp. Now you say it. Now you had a high, vigorous day or morning, but now you just don't feel up to it no more. So you have to pay attention to that because that's the leading cause to your serotonin level de being depleted and your inflammation increase because when inflammation rise your serotonin and your dopamine effect is going down because now your digestive enzymes in you know the integrity of your gut is now out of balance for you so you got to really pay attention to that so as far as your meats i just said the meats that you needed to avoid but you have some um you have a lot of seafood readily available and a lot of meats readily available on a seven day meal plan but as far as the um, seafood as a blood type O that you need to stay away from, it's going to be catfish, frog, octopus. I hope y'all ain't even eating no darn octopuses and frogs out there in physical reality. But if you are, <laughs> as an O, you can't eat no frog. You can't, you got to stay away from catfish too. Catfish are bottom feeders. And so you the O, so you got to kind of like stay away from that. You know, your food can't be as tainted. You need real stuff. And so the pork ain't real and the catfish is the bottom feeder. Now, mind you, catfish is okay for, um, it's neutral for bees, right? But their blood has been a little bit tainted. So you the leader of the screw, you the God. So the God can't be going on in the sea, getting the thing that's supposed to be clean in the sea. Think about it that way. You don't like fish? Oh, really? Okay, well, good for you then. Good for you. Good for you. You ain't got to worry about that. So they say on um, on this here list that I have, Atlantic, Pollock, Calamari, Squid, Octopus, Frog, Catfish. You need to get away from those. But there's a plethora of other fish that you can choose from on the seven day meal plan diet that you can eat. And when you're making your fish, another thing about making your fish, they have on the list, they have the herbs that when you baking your fish or frying your fish, you want to use your right oil for your fish. Like you can't be, since you, since for example on here, it, it tells you, and even on the seven day meal plan, it's going to tell you some oils, I mean some foods that you need to stay away from right like for example when we get to um, nuts and seeds they have on here peanut butter and peanuts for your o's so keep in mind if you can't tolerate peanuts you can't tolerate peanut butter that means also you can't tolerate peanut oil <laughs> In, in whatever in that peanut family so that means you gotta watch out for it when, since you work out and you like them little granola bars and, and them little you know weight powders and different things you gotta make sure you're not picking the one that have pe peanut in it you gotta make sure you're getting a granola bar that don't have peanut butter in it or peanut oil in it right you gotta be mindful of those things since you know you the fitness person so moving on to the dairy, the dairy and, and eggs, you really should um, severely restrict your consumption of dairy products. Yeah, your system is um, ill-designed for um, a proper daily metabolism and dairy foods can also kind of like inflame your condition and cause weight gain. So you really should limit dairy because dairy leads to inflammation for you. Not to say that you can't have any, but you should limit it. And really dairy, truly for all blood types, cause inflammation, but it's worse for the blood type A because they're the most sensitive of them all. 
but there's a list, a plethora of things in the dairy that section that you gotta stay away from since it's why I'm saying that there. And it's a lot of those cheeses. And you think about it, cheese, what is cheese? Let's just take layman's terms here, is a form of a mold. Now I'm not saying it's totally bad because they have mushrooms are a form of a mold too, though, right? And so mushrooms, too, ants thrive on mushrooms because mushrooms can actually take you into, you know, is it can be used as psychedelics, you know, and, 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 and they can make you feel good. But as far as the cheeses are concerned, they ain't no feel good benefit in there for you. That mold is just a mold. It's just a man-made mold. And because it's linked to dairy, something that you need to stay away from or cut back real real small doses of it's not beneficial american cheese blue cheese butter buttermilk cheddar cheese cottage cheese cream cheese goose egg quail egg swiss cheese just to name a few <laughs> you get the point here yogurt whey protein i really want to emphasize that one back to the workout stuff that y'all use whey protein that's in those big old powders that y'all use gotta stay away from that there you just sprinkling that powder in your in your water, but it's causing you inflammation. So you just imagine you being in a gym, you powdered up, you got your adrenaline pumping, but you got inflammation pumping too already. And so here's the thing: you you're inflaming yourself with your whey protein. Let's say, for example, you had a granola bar and they had peanuts in the tire of it. You inflaming yourself some more. Now you're going to the gym. And why what is the purpose of the gym? The purpose of the gym is for you to work out, move your cells and your body. Keep in mind, just by me doing this here, since you work out, um, um, you're welcome. Okay, bless you. I'm not sure with that you're welcome as well. Just like you're doing this here, you are creating cellular waste because you have cells in here that have waste. Just like you're moving, you're exercising your arm. There's another dimension of you, your cells, that's moving. And so it's secreting waste known as uric, uric acid, lactic acid. This waste has to be eliminated. This inflammation that you're creating because you are putting more weight you know, in your hand and tearing up this so-called muscle because that's what you're doing when you're working out you're tearing up this muscle so that it can build and grow stronger you're causing too much inflammation there is what i'm saying if you just ate something that didn't cause a chemical reaction for inflammation you're working out and causing inflammation your cellular waste has inflammation your whey protein because your whey protein because they don't agree with your blood is inflammation it's just too much so you don't want to overdo it because you already have a lot of hydrochloric acid in here. So you want to be consuming the right types of fruits and vegetables and oils to put some of that fire out. This is why you're more prone to having these peptic ulcers and this thyroid issue and the depression. Because the depression going to come when you on fire times three. On fire from the food, on fire from working out, and on fire from the gut. Y'all listen to me out there? Because <laughs> y'all done got quiet. Y'all there? I use vegan protein shake. Perfect. Y'all there? Somebody say I'm there. Why well, y'all ain't move? Okay, okay, y'all here. Okay, 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 okay. I see y'all now. Okay, I'm here. Okay, Key's still here too. Okay. So, moving on to the oils that's going to make you be on fire. I'm going to tell you what's, what's going to be um, able to what you need to avoid to avoid the fire cooking preparing your meals should not be prepared with no peanut oil we talked about peanut already okay good wheat germ oil sunflower oil soy oil these are the things you need to be avoiding sapphire oil palm oil margarine lard primrose evening oil cottonseed oil corn oil coconut oil, castor oil, avocado oil, all them oils, when you put them on your tongue, the oil and your blood creates a chemical reaction that's causing inflammation. So for your oil that you should be using, it is readily available for you on your seven-day meal plan. 
You cook with those oils that are highly beneficial. No one has broken it down like this. Yeah, this is how, yeah, this is how it go, baby. That's Ivory. Hey, Ivory. Thank you for being here. So when you cook with those particular oils, you're going to get on fire. Thank you for the rose. You're going to get on fire. So you need to stay away from that because you got enough of fire going on. You, you, you the God, you come, you come forth with fire <laughs> every lifetime, your existence. You are known when you walk in the gym, you are known when you walk in the workplace, you are known from your aura, from your blood type, your blood has memory. You, your presence is known. I, people might not say they know you cause they ain't tapped in. I'm tapped in and I can spot, I can spot you at a red light. I can spot you at the gym. I can spot you at work. I know you. The people that are threatened by, by you, that's because they don't know themselves. But you are known. I <laughs> trust and believe your existence is known. So you want to have a life that is conducive of, you know, new, you know not too much of inflammation in your body, you know. We, we ain't ready to go to war yet is what I'm saying. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> We ain't ready for war yet. All everybody DNA ain't been activated yet. So just calm down. Calm down. Wait. You act normal. Act normal if you know how to do it. <laughs> All right, drop love. <laughs> okay, act normal. Act normal. They watching. They watching. They watching. <laughs> yes, definitely. We still talking about oh yeah, amen. We walking. Yeah. All eyes on me. Sixty six. There you go. Yeah, we're talking about O's right now. O's are still talking about. So we're on the nuts and the seeds. So we poppy seeds, sunflower seeds, peanut, peanut butter. That means peanut flour too. You got to throw in that flour because when you fry things, you got to think about this here. So when you fry, you can't be frying with no peanut flour if you're trying to get fancy with it and say, oh, since I can't have the peanut, I'm going to do the flour. No. Oh, peanut. Oh, you got to get up out of there with that. No, just let the peanut go. Leche, um, pistachio nut, European chestnut, cashew peanut, cashew butter, Brazil nut, beck nut. Those are the nuts you need to avoid, right? Nor wheat flour. Right, definitely. Definitely. So, now we're going to roll to the beans. You have beans that you can consume. On the um, highly beneficial list of the seven-day meal plan. But you must, if you're not going to invest in your list, at least know this here part. Stay away from salted pinto beans, soybean, pasta, pinto bean, navy bean, sprouted lentils, all types of lentils. All of the little tiny lentil beans, all of them. They might say that that's the healthier bean, but not for your blood type. They might even tell you Brazilian nuts are really good. They have a plethora of selenium in there. You only need one or two of them a day and you'll have all of your selenium you need for your thyroid function. But guess what? That particular nut is not good for your blood type though. It's a beneficial nut, but it ain't good for your blood type. Just like some of these oils. Avocado oil is a really, really rich oil that come from seeded avocados. But for your blood type though, it just don't go hand in hand. So copper bean, kidney beans, you got to avoid those. Then we're going to move over to um, grains and cereals for you. And so this is really, really tricky. So uh, silanema wheat is a wheat that they use with making pastas like spaghetti and pastas you got to pay attention to that type of wheat too because you have to stay away from a lot of these here wheats and so that silanema uh durum wheat they call it durum or semolina you have to stay away from the, those pastas because they cause inflammation for you so pastas um Pastas that are made from like maybe like buckwheat, Jerusalem artichoke, or rice or rice flour are better tolerated by you. But you just really have to be careful with like breads and wheat is what I'm saying here because it causes mad inflammation in your digestive system. You have to avoid barley, corn flakes, 
all corn grains. You have to avoid gluten flour, graham, graham flour, grape nuts, grits, morning grits, you know, eggs, grits, and sausages. Well, you got to skip the grits. <laughs> you got to skip the grits, right? You got to stay away from um, seven grain, germ wheat, bulk wheat, whole wheat, sprouted white flour. So this is not this is not your strength right here with the wheat. And actually on the seven day meal plan, I put like um, two breads. It's really only two. And they're like in the refrigerated section that's really beneficial for you. But outside of that, you got to stay away from the, the grains. Now you can do oatmeal. But grits is a no-no for breakfast for you. Keep that in mind for your breakfast because breakfast is a common thing for them O's. They O's be hungry in the morning. They be wanting their full breakfast. But be easy when it comes to those grits. Be easy when it comes to the grits. Now, eggs are fine. You know, you got to get the rich organic stuff. Though, So I would say the rich organic eggs. But as far as those grits are concerned, stay away from them grits. And get you a nice meat that you can break down that ain't that going back to pork. So you shouldn't be picking up the bacon for your breakfast. Because your now your grits and your bacon gonna cause you inflammation. So be wise when you're creating a breakfast. I have the breakfast plans readily available on a seven-day meal plan for you though. Here we go. We're moving on to vegetables. Now you could eat, you could eat a plethora of vegetables. You could eat a plethora of vegetables on this here list. Okay, so let, let me tell you this though. Cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and mustard greens can disrupt your microbiome and even inhibit thyroid function, which is, I already told you, which is often already somewhat compromised in a type O. So, you might want to leave those alone right there. Cornmeal too. <laughs> yeah. You might want to leave those things alone right there. If you don't want to have them thyroid issues. So we got we like bobbing and weaving from the inflammation, right? So you're avoiding cucumber. You're avoiding popcorn. All corn. Okay? You're avoiding mustard greens. Black olives, all pickles, all of them. Okay, you're avoiding the potato. So not don't you can't get smart with the potato because they have different colored potatoes. You need to avoid the white one, you need to avoid the yellow one. Just bought my plan. Oh, okay, okay, ladybug. Look at you. I'm happy for you. That was you that I was here that beat from. So you need to avoid the white one, the yellow one, the red one, and the blue one. So don't get fancy just because it's darker colored. Because <laughs> you know the darker, you know the more minimum supposed mineral supposed to be up in there. No, not for the potato. You leave the potato alone. Period. No more potatoes. You're not digesting it properly. The white, the silver, dollar, and the white mushroom. Alfalfa sprouts, and you should already know about aloe vera. That's a GMO anyway, so you need to stay away from the aloe vera. And so that means topically too. So if you're a natural O and you wear your natural hair, you pay attention to the products that have aloe vera in there to make your hair coil up. Because now you're putting it on your head. And what you put on your head penetrates in your body through your skin. So you're really, really doing disharmony when you have these things in your, your products that you put in on your body. And so that, and I made my products on my website in alignment for blood types, all blood types to be able to put them on your body and not cause harm. No aloe vera. No, no, don't put that on your body. No. So in the seven day meal plan, I have a potion right there that has your oils that can go on your body. That's beneficial for you, but you, you can't. As far as healing, you know, I know they be grabbing the aloe vera plant and they'll put that juice on there. But even for me as a bee, I knew that based upon how I felt when I tried to drink that juice. And when I tried to put that on a cut before 
my body, I would just, I will be sitting down and it was like my heart was beating so fast that it was moving my whole body. Like, what was that that I just put on me? What is it doing to me? If you pay attention after you eat certain foods, you will feel the same feeling that I'm talking about. But most people will eat on the go and we don't even sit and chew our food and take time and experience our food digesting and lay in a bed and feel whether or not it feels good after I consume that or if it feels like I should never put that thing up in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I wouldn't. The skin is an organ. The skin is the largest organ. What you put on you penetrates inside of you. So no, I wouldn't. If it's saying this about going inside of you and the skin is the largest organ outside of you, I wouldn't fool with that thing. I'm telling you what I know. So cauliflower, alfalfa sprouts, aloe vera, cucumber. And you know, cucumber is supposed to be really, really hydrating, right? It's supposed to be really, really hydrating for the body. Hydrating you at a cellular level, but based upon your blood type, the chemical reaction that's going to happen when you have cu cucumber water or when you put cucumbers on your salad, it ain't going to act like that for you. So that's why I, this, this is so, this, this is so important, you know, because for me, I would think, oh, cuc cucumbers, are, you know, are good for everybody. You would think, but they're not because you hear so many things and you know, me as an herbalist, I hear so many beautiful Things about cucumbers and stuff, you know, certain herbs. And you then, then at the same time, I've seen, I've sat back and I've seen, I've paid attention. You know, I, as far as like celery and, and, and carrot is, is, I'm like, dang, people still eat that? I feel like that, that'd be like slicing me up on the inside and people sitting up there eating that. I often wonder, wait, they don't feel that? But now it, it makes, it's like an aha moment because it's like, oh, they're not experiencing it like I experienced it because they have a different blood type than me. Heartbroken about cucumbers, I know. Uh, they're, they're delicious. They're really delicious. But here we go. Everybody's just different. But you got fruit. You have some highly beneficial fruit for you and you only have a little bit to avoid. A little bit. Like blackberries. And you would think, you would think, and I'm not being racist or whatever or ugly or negative when I say this. But you would think, because I look at the goals as the you know the black gods. And then you see blackberry. Like why the black gods can't eat blackberry? Like what's going on here? <laughs> but you really should avoid blackberries. Blackberries, honeydew melon, oranges, plantain, and tangerine are very, very, very inflammatory for you. You have to avoid them at all costs. And so now, in the morning, back to your breakfast, your grits is out. Let's put this all together. You, ain't, you can't have no grits. You can't have no pork. Did that go to the bacon and them sausages for breakfast? Because that's going to cause you inflammation. Lord forbid they fry it into peanut oil. You really going to be on fire because you already got all this hydrochloric acid. Well, you could have the egg. Your stomach is organic, you know, egg, you know, so you like bobbing and weaving already for breakfast. And then now you can't have the orange juice because the orange juice in your digestive system ain't going to work for you either. Okay. So now you got to know your alternative, your alternative. I told you one going to be, going to be grits. And, I mean, going to be oatmeal instead of the grits. This isn't so empowering for you to know about your body. And now, now you need to, instead of your pork, maybe you could get you some turkey bacon instead of your pork because you need to leave pork completely alone, you see? And this is how you come together with a new lifestyle. You find what works for you. And so I shared with you all on my TikTok already about the oranges. All, I didn't realize that all blood types besides the B can't, they can't tolerate orange juice. Really, the only one is the B. And that's me. I love orange juice. But just me liking to know about other fruits and stuff, I went out there and I did the work for y'all. <laughs> and I made orange juice out of kumquats. Even though kumquats are a tiny, and I posted this already on my, both of my pages, it's a tiny little orange-like fruit. It's not really oranges. Kumquats are highly beneficial for all blood types. Oranges are only beneficial for the bees. So for your breakfast now, you could get your egg. Maybe you could get you some oatmeal. 
Maybe you could, you know, put it with some of the other highly beneficial things that I put on ideas for breakfast. But instead of your orange juice that's going to mess you up, you could make you, if you like that orange family, you could make you kumquats. And kumquats are really, really anti-parasitic and really, really high in vitamin C. And they're good for every blood type. I just gave you something to add to your seven-day meal plan, kumquat juice. And what I did to make mine, I'll give you that. It's any oat. It's like it's regular oat. So you can put whatever fruit that is in alignment with your seven day meal plan in your oatmeal. But it's just oats, just real oats. That's 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 it. I would get them from you know um, maybe Bob Bread Meal brand, you know, or maybe I'll go to Whole Foods store where they sell it in the bulk or whatever. But this is how you make it: the kumquat juice. You get you some kumquats. You go, first of all, you're going to go to the international market or whatever near you because Walmart ain't going to have that there. You're going to go to the international market or you're going to go to the people around the corner who have that kumquat tree and they ain't doing nothing with it. and got them kumquat sitting all on the ground. And you're going to get your hand, maybe two hand um, grabs of them. And you're going to clean them suckers. You're going to put them in a blender. Get a whole lot if you want real, real citrus juice. You put them in a blender whole. You just make sure the little stem is off because because kumquats is something that you can eat with the seed, with the skin, whole. You chew that thing, it's sweet and tangy at the same time. You chew that thing, it tastes like orange. But what you're going to do is wash them all, put them in a blender, and you're just going to add you some spring water. You're going to blend that thing together. Now you got you some kumquat juice with pulp. Now you're going to get you a strainer and you're going to strain out all of that pulp out of there and you're going to drink it with some agave to sweeten it and now you got you a gallon of orange juice in your refrigerator, high in vitamin C, good for all blood types. So that means if you're old and you gave birth to somebody that ain't old or you done married into other families who different blood types, now everybody in the family got a juice. Okay? Everybody in the family got a juice or something. What is kumquats? Kumquats are little small, little small mini little oranges like with a seed. Because you can't have, if you're old, you can't have oranges. I'm teaching you how to get orange, assimilated orange juice to get your vitamin C. Okay? Where you get a pesticide free steak from? <laughs> well, you could go to Whole Food Store. They sell grass-fed, you know, organic meats over there. Go to Whole Food Store or go to, um, I don't know if, um, I don't buy steak. So I don't know if like a Trader Joe's will have it, but I definitely wouldn't go to the Walmart. I definitely wouldn't go to a regular Ross's type store. I will go to, oh, they have this store called Sprouts. I will go to maybe a Sprouts or a Whole Food Store. To get the more grass-fed, organic, cleaner meat. But even when going over there, I would still come home and I would still clean that thing with some coconut vinegar, some key lime juice, water, and three drops, three to five drops of the alchemist oil. And make sure I rinse that sucker off and still clean it and make it up to pour. That way I'm cleaning out any, any you know, slime, any potential parasites, and I'm getting it as clean as possible. Even before I cook it. How about Costco? My thing is, I just don't care for going to stores that don't have like a freezer right there. Kind of like, you know, them them Costco type stores. They be getting that stuff on the truck. You don't know how long it's been on the truck. I like, I would rather, if I was going to get something for somebody, I would rather go to meat market type stores that have like a, somebody that's in the back cutting something just cut something even if you're cutting the fat off when you're taking it out the pack just cut something show me you cutting something because <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't particularly like eating meat so i gotta make sure it's the meat is the cleanest form of the meat yeah there you go ivory sprouts and whole food store those i'll trust a little bit way better whole foods and sprouts thank you so much yeah there go there leave them other people alone them other people don't know what they're doing they got little children back there the touching and stuff. They don't know yet. They just got here. <laughs> okay, so our fruit. 
Our fruit that we're going to avoid is going to be the orange juice, plantain, tangerine, kiwi. I told you about that. But make sure you specifically, because it's really, really bad. These five are really, really bad. Blackberry, honeydew melon, orange, plantain, and tangerine. Really, really bad. Really, really bad. Inflammation to, to the roof. So the beverages and teas that you could consume, I mean, that you should avoid, is going to be in alignment with that. Orange juice, tangerine juice, cucumber juice, blackberry juice, and then I got two extra ones for you. Beer and distilled liquor. You, oh, you love the Pope? Hey, I didn't know you was still up in here, Miss Grateful. You like the Pope? You can keep the Pope up in there if you want to. But beer and distilled um, vinegar, I mean liquor, those two you have to add to be avoided. Thank you for whoever that is for putting yourself first. Whoever that was that just purchased, thank you for putting yourself first, loving yourself enough to get rid of this inflammation, to dare to be different, to dare to break the generational curse, to dare to be insane forever. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. To dare to not be insane forever and do something different. I'm thankful for you, loving on you, and I'm 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 happy. I'm happy for you, babe. So here we go. You also need to avoid coffee. Your morning coffee. That go your breakfast. So now you have to come up with another drink in the morning because coffee is on the list for you to be avoided. Because coffee coffee is actually very acidic, and you with your high hydrochloric acid already, you gotta stay away from those type of things that's gonna cause any inflammation up in that gut. You have a, um, some more items on this here list. I'm not going to read through all of them, but I do want to read two that you might not know of as old red clover tea and burdock tea, which is really supposed to be really highly beneficial for other people. No, I'm going to tell you three. Yellow duck, yellow duck, burdock, and echinacea. Oh my God, I got to tell you more than that. I'm going to tell you more. I got to tell you more. I got to tell you more. Because you might be messing around with this. And I don't want you to have to go through this. Y'all got time? I'm going to tell you more. Because these are so common. And you might not know. You might not know about it. So yellow dock is an herb. These are, these are powerful herbs. Yellow dock. Red clover. St. John Warps. Golden seal, echinacea, and burdock are commonly powerful teas for other blood types, so it ain't powerful for you. So you got to stay away from that. Then you got your black tea. Because, you know, in the morning, some people like to have their black tea. You cannot tolerate the black tea because of your blood type. Soft drinks. All types, and that means Pepsi, Coke, Seven Up, Diet Coke. Even you gotta stay away from that. It's the acids in these things, and your acid, your high hydrochloric acid, meeting up with these acids is a no no. Coke should be left alone by you anyway because of that sugar in there and that high fructose corn syrup is too much. You already are high, God. You already the old blood type. You already got a natural high. Your natural high is is is, is your athletic strength. Your natural high is your high um, hydrochloric acid in your gut that allows you to have a digestive system like you do. So you don't need to be bamboozled with the highs from the high fructose corn syrup that's inside of the soda pops. Okay? And beer, that yeast, the reason why I'm trying to teach you the reasoning behind this, the yeast. We already said you needed to stay away from the dairy, the breads, and the wheat. But beer has all of that yeast in there that grows inside of you. You be to put your fire out. And then you go to depression and now you gain weight because you're going to put your fire out with all of the bread, with all of the yeast. And now you're not feeling like an O no more. You're feeling like an A. You're feeling like the, the blood type that is definitely opposite from yours when you have the most hydrochloric acid. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So herbs and spices that you should stay away from is nutmeg and black pepper. Specifically black pepper. 
Mace and Garana. I, I, I've never used those particular um, herbs. But here we go. My recommendation is that you try to wean yourself from condiments and replace them with healthier seasonings, with healthier alternatives, like in the blood, in the um, eating for your blood type meal plan. Healthy alternatives for you could be garlic. That's something healthier for you. Okay? So some of the condiments, we're going to go over that right quick. So since we had to stay away from the... Um, the pickle type stuff. We also need to include pickle relish in there. I told you about the um, high fructose corn syrup already. That's tricking your brain into thinking you're hungry when you're really full. So you need to start reading ingredients that have high fructose corn syrup in there so that you can avoid it. On your potato chips, they have an a, um, item called malt dextrin that will destroy your kidneys. You need to stay away from it. It's not good for all volatiles, but I'm just letting you know that it's there. Okay? Maybe I should only date my blood type, make it, meals me easy. I know, right? Because they be sitting up there eating a the bloody steak and you be sitting up there trying to take the little parsley flake off of the bloody steak and you go just chunk on that. <laughs> yeah, because this, this could be in a relationship, this could be like uh, in all because, you know, some men actually like partners that could, you know, get down like them, so to speak, right? <laughs> Yeah, for real. Yeah. Just but Yeah, I see you over there, ladybug. But yeah, it be like that. You know, some men be like, yeah, I like somebody that can eat. You know, that know how to eat. And they ain't going to be looking cute. And they saying that. That's probably an old that saying that. You know, like, dang, I eat these bloody steaks and she's sitting up here uh, vegan. Like, uh, I don't know if it gonna, it's going to work. <laughs> so here we go. Dextrose, I told you about that. High fructose corn syrup, malt dextrin, inverted sugar, ketchup, right? Got to stay away from ketchup too. It's mostly you staying away from the ketchup because of the um, the vinegars inside of it because you can't tolerate the vinegar. I'm staying away from the ketchup because I can't tolerate the tomato as a bee, right? So white pepper, mustard, you know, all the mustards that have wheat because you got to stay away from wheat and the mustard that has vinegar because you got to stay away from that. Mayonnaise that have tofu and soy inside of it. You have to avoid that. MSG, they use that as a flavoring agent. You got to stay away from that. That's I talk about that in my Power Within Transformation course that's available on my website. I take you into the grocery stores and I, sh I teach how to chop for ingredients, how to read the PLU numbers, what type of water is good, how to manifest, you know, because I teach the physical and the spiritual side of this here because it matters. It's just, it's just different ends of the same spectrum. They both matter though. So, all types of vinegar you got to stay away from. And Wichita-Sure sauce. I screw up that word all the time. My tongue just don't do that. But y'all know what I'm talking about. It's that sauce that you use to put added flavor. Like it may be gumbos or, or maybe um, pastas or, or spaghetti. Wichita-Sure sauce. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, and that's you. That's you in a nutshell for type O. Those are the things that you should avoid. If you want to know all the things that you should be consuming, then you should get the seven-day meal plan. It tells you all the highly beneficial herbs, spices, meat, seafoods, fruits, nuts, oils, everything that you need. And it also reminds you what to be avoiding to avoid inflammation why are we trying to avoid inflammation because it leads to lectins what are lectins lectins is the chemical reaction that happens between your blood and the food that you eat creating inflammation in your body leading to inflammation leaky gut kidney issues autoimmune issues gout you name it that's where it came from Okay. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else still up in here that want to go over anything before I get up out of here? Are the A's still up in here? Was it the A's or the A-B's that was next? Anybody else? That's the O's. That's the gods. That's what you need to avoid. Where do I find the meal plan? The website is at the top of the screen, saltoftheearthpub.org. When you go to the website, the meal plan is going to look like um red and white drops of blood like 
and you click on the blood type that you are once you click on your blood type you put in the correct email address because this is a downloadable let me see if I can pull it up on here this is downloadable and you're gonna instantly get it received via your email if you don't receive it if you don't receive it instantly you check your spam bot folder but it comes automatically to you on your phone. You download it and there you go. You got it.